In chapter five of part one of Beloved, a fully dressed woman walks out of the water and falls asleep. The next day she makes her way to a stump in front of 124, exhausted and unable to stay awake. Setha, Paul D, and Denver come home from the carnival and find her sitting in the yard. Setha sees her face and immediately needs to urinate, which reminds her of her water breaking when Denver was born. The woman has a powerful thirst and her name is Beloved. Aware of the dangers faced by former slaves, Paul D is puzzled by her soft skin, new shoes, and nice clothes. Setha takes to her because of her name, and Denver wants her so strongly she shakes. Beloved sleeps for four days asking only for water, while Denver nurses her with a possessive devotion. Meanwhile, mm. Setha wonders where their dog, Hereboy, has gone, and Denver says he won't be back. Paul D thinks there's something funny about that gal because she doesn't look sick. He tells Setha that he saw Beloved pick up a rocking chair with one hand, but Denver denies it even though she saw it too. Beloved seems quite explicitly to be the materialization of the dead baby spirit, and her arrival disrupts the hopeful optimism of the previous chapter. Setha's bodily reaction, recalling birth, links the woman to Setha's dead baby even before we learn her name. Other clues lead up to the communal exorcism that concludes the novel. Denver's possessive devotion and need for companionship pits her once again against Paul D. 